Today's session of the Secret Millionaires Club is hereby called to order. As usual, Elena is dilatory. And she's late, too. I think that's what Radley met, Jones. No, I think you totally broke everything. My friend Patty sent me an emergency email. She needs a new cell phone. She got a gift certificate for her birthday that expires today, and she can't make up her mind what model to get. Why don't you kids apply your business know-how to solve Patty's consumer problem? It'll be as easy as falling off a skateboard. Here's the thing. Some cell phones have cameras, some have internet, some have full keyboards for texting. Hey, some have all those features. Why doesn't she just get one of those? Because the models with all the features are over her budget. She's got to make a decision. I suggest we initiate a systematic, comprehensive analysis of the benefit ratio of the various alternatives. What Radley is talking about is called trade-off. Deciding to take less of one thing in order to get more of something else. In everything we do, we make trade-offs. Whether it's buying one thing over another, eating versus exercising, or studying instead of watching television. So what we have to figure out is the upside and downside of any decision. That's right, Elena. I've analyzed the two possible alternatives of phones within the parameters of her budget. Model number one, highly rated optical lens for photos, difficult keyboard for texting, and no internet access. Patty loves to take pictures, but she texts me every other minute. Model number two, a full keyboard for easy texting, internet access to download cool apps, but the camera is inferior. Uh-oh, looks like Patty will either have to give up easy texting or taking good pictures, not to mention the cool apps. That'll be quite a balancing act. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're telling me. I'll give Patty the info. I wonder which way she'll go. Elena, what's wrong? Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is Patty decided to get the cell phone with the good camera, so she's not texting me every other minute. The bad news is now she sends me photos every other minute. So remember, it's important to make the right trade-offs so you can have a balanced life and never trade your reputation for anything. And now, here's words from Warren. Hey kids, Warren Buffett here. A business is faced with many choices and it is important for managers of a business to evaluate the right trade-offs to be successful. You always want to invest in a business with managers that make good decisions. Evaluating trade-offs and making the right decisions is also important in life, whether choosing to study, watch TV, or play video games. I recommend studying every day and trying to learn something you didn't know before. So remember, it's important to make the right trade-offs so you can have a balanced life and never trade your reputation for anything. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll learn.